hi everyone welcome back in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a pivot view in odoo 17 as you can see here that i have developed a custom module called company management so let me go to the python page of this custom module that i've created so going to the python page here you can see i have given a custom model called company.employ and inside the custom model that i've created i've given some fields here so I've given a float field, I've given the character field and a boolean field here inside the custom model that I've created. And if you go to the views that I've created for this custom module here, you can see in the view mode, I've given the tree view, the form view, the calendar view and the pivot view. So these views will be seen in my custom module that I've created. So let me go down and here you can see that I've defined the tree view and I have also specified the fields that I want to display in the tree view. And down here, I've also given the form view for my custom module that I've created and I also defined the fields that I want to be displayed in the form view of my custom module. And down here, I've also given the calendar view in the inside the calendar tag I have given the string for the calendar view and I have also given in, uh, the fields inside the calendar tag here and down here I have defined the pivot view so if you see here that I have given the record id and I have also specified the uh, name for my view here and I have given the model as company.employ and here I have opened the pivot tag here so if you just search for it you can see multiple examples regarding the same here so you have multiple examples in the add-ons here and if you just see here that i've defined some fields inside this so uh, these fields i have just uh, declared inside the model company that employ so if i go to the python file again you can see that these fields are defined inside the model that I've created here that is the company that employed. So as you can see here I have defined some fields here and you can see that I've given the type as column here for the name field and for the code field I've given the type as a row because I want to display the name field in the vertical way and the code field as in the horizontal way. And here in the field total salary I have given the type as measure so as it is an in a float field so as you can go to the python file here and you can see that I have given the total salary field as float field you can give the type as measure or if you have any integer field or a compute field you can use the same type as measure to display the field in the pivot view of a of your custom module so after giving the necessary details here in the pivot tag you can close the pivot tag and other tags that have opened and you can just run the code from the back end here and let me go to the ui and make sure that i upgrade the module so once i upgrade the module here let me go to the custom mod uh, module that i've created and you can see the list view that you have defined I've, and if you just click on it you can see the form view that i've defined so you can see the field total salary here so let me give the total salary for this employee so i, I am just giving a random number here and after that let me save it and here you can see the calendar view that you have defined and let me go to the pivot view and you can see the pivot view here and you can see that the name field here here that is displayed and the code field here that has been displayed and you can also have the option to just group it so you have different options here in your pivot view and you can uh, group the records here and you also have the options to expand the records in your pivot view and you also have the option to flip the axis so you can see that you have easily flipped the axis from the ui here 
and you can download the excel list for this pivot view and if you just open it you can see the excel is here you can see the data that you have seen the ui in the excel list here so you can easily export it to the excel list file and let me just go to the views again in the back end and let me just change the name field as the row and the code field as column and let me just run the code after running the code let me make sure that i upgrade the module so once i go inside the module here i'll just upgrade the module so after upgrading the module let me go to the module that i've created and in the pivot view here you can see that the name field is shown here and the column field is shown here so this is how you create a pivot view in Odoo 17 that's all for today thank you